Hello everyone, welcome back to Explorer Electronics. In this video, let's see a problem on Zener diode as voltage regulator. This kind of problem will be asked many times in the exams. This is the problem I took from VTU model question paper from basic electronics subject. So Zener diode as voltage regulator can be asked to explain how it is going to work or there is a problem like this on Zener diode can also be asked. So let us solve this problem. First, let me write the given things in the problem. Zener diode has a voltage breakdown of 10 volts. Means this is the voltage across the Zener diode we can take. And it is supplied from a voltage source varying between 20 to 40 volts. Means this is the maximum and minimum voltage which we are providing from the source. Means that is variable source. And in series with resistance of 820 ohm. This is the series resistance. Using ideal Zener diode model, obtain minimum and maximum Zener currents. Means what we need to find out is Zener currents, minimum and maximum currents. First, let me write the given things. Vz, that is 10 volts. So this becomes 10 volts, it is given. And Vs is variable now. If you write a RMR over here on the voltage sources, it means it is variable. So it will be having a maximum value of 40 volts, minimum value of 20 volts. Means it will be varied from 20 to 40 we can say. And RS, here is RS, it is 820 ohms. So we need to find out this IZ. What is the maximum value of IZ we are going to get? And what is the minimum value of IZ we are going to get? First let me take the current flowing through this is IS. So we know that IS is the current flowing through the resistor RS, this is the source current, will be equal to the Zener current IZ plus the load current IL. So this is IZ and this is the current flowing through the load RL is IL. Now because of the variable source, we are going to get variable current. Means we need to find out IS first. What is IS here? IZ plus IL. But we don't know what is IL. What is the other way of finding IS? IS will be equal to the voltage difference between RS that is Vs minus Vz. We can write it as Vs minus Vz divided by RS. This is the expression we can get for IS. But we have different value of Vs maximum and minimum. So let me write IS minimum can be obtained using Vs minimum minimum value of Vs they have given minus Vz is constant they have given in the problem and Rs is also constant. So here if we substitute for Vs minimum what is the minimum value of Vs they have given it is 20 volts. So 20 minus Vz is 10 volt is the Zener voltage that is 10 divided by 820 is the resistor value. So if you solve this it becomes 10 divided by 820 it will be, if you solve this, it is 0 0.0129 amperes. So we can also write it as 12 point, sorry, it is 19. So 12.19 milliamps. This is the minimum value of IS we got. Similarly, let us find out IS maximum, the maximum value of IS flow. When maximum value of current IS flows, when there is Vs maximum at the source minus Vz divided by Rs. So it will be what is Vs maximum? It is 40 volts minus Vz is 10 volts divided by Rs. Rs is 820 again. So it will be equal to 40 minus 10. It is 30 divided by 820 we are supposed to do. What is the value here? 30 divided by 820 it gives 0 0.03 0 0.03. 65 amperes. We can write it as 36 point okay 5 milliamps. So this is IS maximum we are going to get. This is IS minimum. Now after getting IS values for different values of VS, let us find out what is IZ maximum. They have asked to find out and what is IZ minimum. How to find out IZ maximum and IZ minimum now? We know that the total current here is IS will be equal to IZ 
Z plus IL. So this is the total current we are going to get in the circuit. What is IS here? Source current. And here we have IS maximum and IS minimum. So here IZ is also unknown and IL is also unknown. What we can do here is that we don't know the value of RL. That's why we don't know IL. And we know the voltage across this RL. That is VL. Why? Because VL will be always equal to VZ. Those two are in parallel. That's why we can easily find out what is IL. IL will be equal to VL divided by RL. But we don't know this RL also. Let us assume, let's assume RL be some 10 kilo ohm. We don't know, but still we are assuming. Assume, let's assume RL will be equal to 10 kilo ohm. When we are going to assume this RL, we can find out this IL. Now, IL will be equal to VL is same as VZ. So let me write it as VZ divided by RL. What is the value of VZ here? VZ they have given it as 10 volts. So it is 10 volts divided by RL. We took it as 10K. So we got IL value as it is 1 milliamps. Right? IL is 1 milliamps. Now we can find out IS using this expression. Let me find out the value of IZ minimum first. IZ minimum will be equal to just I am rearranging this expression to IZ. IZ minimum will be equal to it becomes IS minimum minus IL. Right? So IZ minimum we need to find out. We know that IS minimum is this much. Let me take it as 12.19 milliamps minus IL is 1 milliamps. So let us subtract this. It becomes 11.19. 19 milliamps is the value of IZ minimum current minimum current flowing through the zener diode and let us find out similarly IZ maximum what is the value of IZ maximum now it is IS maximum minus IL IL is same IL will not vary because of RL is constant we are taken so what is IS maximum now we have 36.5 so 36.5 milliamps minus 1 milliamp so we are going to get 35 point sorry 35 point 5 milliamps as the maximum current so in the question what they have asked using ideal diode model obtain minimum and maximum currents flowing through the zener diode that is that is what zener current is so zener current minimum is 11.19 milliamps Zener current maximum is 35.5 milliamps. Suppose if you are going to take this RL as 1 kilo ohm, what happens? If you take it as 1 kilo ohm, what happens? Here in place of this, you need to take 1K. Now it is 10 divided by 1K. So it becomes it becomes 10 milliamps. So IL becomes 10 milliamps if you take it as 1 kilo ohm. So you are some, supposed to subtract. 10 milliamps from here, 10 milliamps from here, it becomes 1.19 milliamps and this becomes 25.5 milliamps. This is how you can solve this problem on Zener diode when they are given these things and asked to calculate minimum and maximum Zener currents. In the similar way, by giving the Zener current, they can also ask to find out other parameters. Thank you.